So now that you have your tour together, you've done some editing, it's time to add some music. So let's start with the basics. Um, I'm going to use Command 6 to open up my timeline event sequencer here and zoom out a little so I can see it. And I have some music that I want to put into this tour. Um, so one of the first ways you can put music in is to drag it into the media library and then when you're prompted just identify it as music and then if you switch to the media library view and you hit the music tab you'll see that there's our piece of music in there we can play it um, another way to bring music in is to just simply drag it to the place you want on the script so let's say we wanted to score this moment here how did this corner get to look like this? There is actually an answer. Okay, so we'll go back out to the finder and take this other track here and just bring it in, let's say right here. Same thing will happen. You need to identify it as the media type. And now you'll see that the music has shown up down here. Um, so let's see how it sounds. For space. How did this corner get to look like this? There is actually an answer. Okay, so that's perfectly fine, but let's say you wanted to move the start of that to right after the word this. So it's great to look at this view here because you can visualize what you're doing. How did this corner get to look like this? We'll move it a little. How did this corner get to look like this? And you can do very small adjustments and they will work. How did this corner get to look like this? How did this corner get to look like this? Okay, there, there you go. is actually an answer. Decisions. But not one decision. Many, many decisions made over decades. Decisions that complement and contradict each other. So you can see that it with the music in there, it might sound a little rushed. So with the media in place, you can now open up the waveform editor. And let's put some pausing in here to kind of work with the music. How did this corner get to look like this? There is actually an answer. Decisions. Okay, let's let that hang a little bit. There is actually an answer. Decisions. Okay, that interferes with the music. An answer. Decisions. And, you know, you can really, it's a really subjective thing here. There is actually an answer. Decisions. But not one decision. Many, many decisions made over decades. Decisions that complement and contradict each other. Since Market Street was... So we probably want that to sit a little. ...and contradict each other. Since Market... ...contradict each other. Since Market Street was first laid down, city planners have been deciding and redeciding what to do with this wide and supposedly grand street. And this year, they're making... Okay, so while we're in there, you notice there's a big old inhale happening here. And this year... So to fix that in the waveform editor, I like to solo the voice and just listen to it in isolation. And this year... So what we'll do is grab the word bar and separate that, and then we... That gives us the breath isolated here. And, th and there's our and. Let's just trim that back. And now let's listen to this. And supposedly grand... With the music. And street. Sorry. And supposedly grand street. And this year, they're making some of the biggest decisions they've made in decades about what Market Street should look like and how it should be used. It's really exciting, but it's also a little daunting. Cities have a way of... So let's say here now we wanted to transition the music out. So all you have to do is go to the insert menu here and you can insert what's called a music end. And what that does is places a little end event into your script. And now if we go and look at and listen to this actually. It's really exciting, but it's also a little daunting. So that's a little abrupt. So if you right click or control click on on one of these segment region uh, music so if you right click on a region you can select the fade in and fade out 
So we'll select the fade out here and we'll just make it five seconds. Alternatively, you can move this little bar which lets you visually see how long a five second fade is, how long, you know, here is this eight second fade. Uh, so let's go ahead and listen to that. It's really exciting, but it's also a little daunting. Cities have a way of rebelling against plans. So maybe you like the seven second fade, but you want it to start sooner. You can either grab this here and move it, or you can grab this and move it. And both of them have the exact same effect. I will say that you can do really micro movements down here, and it doesn't move it up here. So I would say for rough placement, this is fine. But if you're really trying to tune something, it's better to move it down. It's here. really exciting, but it's also a little daunting. Cities have a way of rebelling against plans. That tension between... Okay, so uh, this, that tension probably just needs a little bit of space. But it's also a little daunting. Cities have a way of rebelling against plans. And again, you can see, like, once the music's in, the breaths become a little bit more distracting, especially Daunting. in a place like this. City and so, again, you can move this. A little daunting. Cities have a way of rebelling against... And we can even tighten that up. But it's also a little daunting. Cities have a way of rebelling against plans. That tension between the plans and the messy reality. So that's how you do it. And now the thing is, you might want to bring in some of this other music. So we have this lull piece here. So you can just drag it right onto the timeline itself, or you can drag it right into the script where you want it. Either way, we'll have the same effect. And let's say you want this to start right around here. We're going to one of my favorite places, the San Francisco Public Library. So let's go. Okay, so we want to obviously start that a One of my sooner. favorite places, the San Francisco Public Library. So let's go. With your back facing market, you're going to cross at the crosswalk that's right in front of you. Okay, so now you'll see that's too loud. So right clicking or option click, I'm sorry, control clicking. So as you can see, that's too loud. So if you right click or control click, you can get to volume and ducking and you just simply turn it to where you want it. To one of my favorite places, the San Francisco Public Library. So let's go. With your back facing market, you're gonna cross at the crosswalk that's right in front of you. We're gonna go up to the street to your left. So you see the doors up there? Go on in and I'll meet you inside. And it's kind of a listen and feel thing.